Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping Leisure and we're going to do a quick video to explain the differences on driveway kits. Uh, the most common driveway kit is usually a sort of figure of eight with um, plastic figure of eight with a bit of beading. Um, there's two types of beading, so they do a four mil and a six mil. So you have a four mil this side, six mil this side. Sometimes you have six mil, six mil, so it depends what you're connecting it to. So here we have a Fiamma blind and then in these blinds and most other brand of blinds you have, I've got a four mil groove. So we put the four mil side into there. Okay, these, these driveway kits are usually three meters long, so suitable for obviously most, most of your driveway awnings, but occasionally they do a four meter long for the bigger, wider awnings. So that is obviously where the four mil channel is. We then use our plastic figure of eight, which connects onto the six mil side and connects like so. So that's now in your rail. We'll use this bit here as an example. This would be your driveway awning. So your awning sleeve would go in here like so. So that is how your awning would connect to your Fiamma blind. And then when you want to drive away, you pull this out and the sleeve drops down. In, so in some cases, so that's a four, four mil channel. A six mil channel, you'll have a Remo rail, like follow, if you follow me down here. On one of these camper vans down here, we've got a Remo rail. So an, a normal rail or awning rail is just like this one here. So that's got a six mil channel in there, just a standard six mil. So that's when this bit of material, you'd need the six to six. Sometimes these days you find them, um, when you buy them online, they're like a twin beading. So they'll have four and six mils. So if you're not sure, maybe that'd be the best one to buy. But usually we'll always ask you the question, do you need a four mil or a six mil? So we know how you're connecting it. Um, on another case where you might just have what we call a J rail is on a van like this one here. So a J rail is simply just a, like, a, like a C, but it's, it's what we call just a J, because it's not as like round as a C from both sides. And you'll just use your figures of eight just to slot in there and pull against. So if we put our, if our awning sleeve was in here, we would then bring this up here. Okay. Our J rail is just about here. This little black bit, if you can see it. And that clips in like that. So that's now against that. And if you imagine the tension of the awning would be being pulled this way, that would hold that in place. That's quite a quick and easy way to obviously attach it if you've got a J rail and that easily comes off. So it might not be the best if it is a little bit windy. It's always best to try and get it in a rail if possible. The last driveway kit that I want to explain is the magnetic kit. These are really good if you don't have a pop top roof and you've got a flat metal roof, so not a fiberglass roof. So these are a nice thick, strong metal band, uh, usually three meters long. We've just got these bits as a sample. Um, that has the figure uh, of eight, or the, sorry, the six mil channel on there ready to put your bead, uh, figure of eight. So it comes with your figure of eight. And these would simply sit on a flat part of your vehicle like so. And they're nice and easy to put on. You can put them right over the top of the van, you know, right in the middle of the van if you can to get a nice seal along the van. But they're quick and easy to put on. They're obviously a little bit more expensive than the other bits of kit, but they're nice and strong. They usually got a couple of loops in either side, so you can put guy ropes on there to give it a bit of extra security uh, with your awning. But obviously your awning bit would go in inside this figure of eight and that magnetic strip would sit on there nicely. But obviously these need to be ideally on a nice flat bit of the vehicle rather than on the side of uh, on the corner with a pop top. So nice, if you haven't got a pop top, that's what you want to be looking at. Nice and quick and easy to put that and attach that. But yeah, if you've got any more questions, not sure what driveway kit you need after this video, um, check out our website, give us a call. Uh, or pop in store. Thanks for watching this video.